Hello YouTube, and thanks for uh, checking out my video, and uh, welcome to another edition of Welcome to Linux. Uh, I wanted to cover the, well basically how I changed the appearance here. I right clicked down on the bottom of the taskbar, and I went with a solid color with opacity, that made it kind of see-through, and down to the panel, excuse me. Some call it a taskbar, some call it a panel. And also, you can right click on the desktop and go to desktop preferences and uh, wallpaper. You click on that, and I change it over to, to what I have. So, makes it, I, it allows you to personalize things, make it a little, you know, look a little better, in my opinion. So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the browsers available for. Lubuntu and Ubuntu and Linux in general. So first one that comes uh, right off the bat with Lubuntu is Chrome. Now everyone knows this is Chromium, excuse me, the open source version of Chrome. Everyone kind of knows what Chrome is. Chrome is from Google. Allows you to install such great apps like currently you can get Angry Birds for free and um, things like that. I can pull things as far as like tabs, I can pull them out of windows and create their own windows just by doing that or put it right back in and allows you to just easily uh, rearrange by clicking and, and dragging along over the top. Now a great thing about Chrome, you can search right there in the address bar. There isn't a really a separate bar for search. It just it all comes all together. So uh, one of the uh, great things about that. So here I can change, watch me change, uh, you know, the order real quick. Second browser we'll be looking at is going to be Firefox. Uh, Firefox comes by with and uh, excuse me comes by default with Ubuntu 11.04 and uh, pretty much every version of Ubuntu I've looked at. Uh, Firefox is great too. I'll be showing in another video the um, attachments or add-ons uh, you can get with Firefox. Um, as far as like to, so you can check your Gmail, check your Facebook. Um, I have an attachment as well that allows me to download Flash video so I can archive the videos I put up on YouTube. So it's uh, pretty good. And there's the plus button for adding tabs. You can also, you can drag, you can't drag out of window like you can with uh, Chromium, but you can drag as far as like the uh, change positions. It's uh, not as smooth as it is in Chromium, but it does work. And last but not least, we'll be looking at uh, Opera. Opera is a pretty decent browser. I did enjoy it. Um, some of the things I liked was being able to have a kind of a speed dial function here where I can add websites that I, I visit instead of a Chromium keeps track of where you visit and uh, kind of uh, populates that for you, whereas Opera, you can add them yourself. So um, I like that function. And uh, Crackle one, and Hulu, one of some of my favorite uh, websites to go to because they work just fantastic with Linux, as opposed to Netflix, which uh, does not. Uh, Crackle and Hulu, they use uh, Flash technology. Um, or they might use HTML5, I can't remember which one it is, but um, Netflix uses Microsoft Silverlight and that is not compatible with desktop Linux as of uh, yet. So here's on Crackle, you can see all the movies available to watch, Resident Evil, Men in Black, um, quite a bit actually. So uh, The Patriot, Mel Gibson, one of my favorite films. So if you're, uh, if you're a movie buff, Definitely visit Crackle, or if you're a um, TV buff, of course, Hulu's the way to go. So, and every time you open up a new tab browser, excuse me, a new tab in the browser, uh, Opera defaults with the speed dial. So, and you can always you can change the search box with Bing and Google, and you can even use Wikipedia. So I'm putting in like humpback whale to get some results here. Like hey, I want to see I want to see a humpback whale, and there we go. So that help gets. Uh, so if you're uh, wanting to you know search some stuff up, and you're like, well, I don't really want to search the net. I really want to search Wikipedia. 
you know, you can change that all up right there in the search bar. Well, those are the browsers available for Ubuntu and Ubuntu and pretty much Linux in general. Uh, I'm going to be ignoring the update manager here. Thanks for watching. I hope you come again. And uh, thanks for watching. Welcome to Linux.